Don't you ever go home? Nope. See you neuralize another partner. B, D, next time you use a fission carbonizer, put a submolecular deatomizer on the barrel so it doesn't sound like a cannon. Yes, sir. Hey, get some booties on them things. You're crapping up the floor. Ah, uh, broke, Jay. Check this Prionasian's visa. The cephalopods have been making counterfeits down at Kinko's on Canal. And will somebody please explain to me why I have a dead Tricranoslav going through passport control? That'd be my fault, sir. I'm very sorry, sir. Please don't neuralize me, sir. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Nothing, sir. Good work in the subway. I remember Jeff when he was yay high. What you got for me? <laughs> Take a look out that window. You see those guys in black suits? They work here, too. We got it covered. Zed, come on, man. What you got? Listen, dedication's one thing, but if you let it, this job will eat you up and spit you out whole. You want to look like me when you hit 50? Ish. I'll be in the gym if you need me. All right, there was a killing earlier, 177 Spring, alien on alien. Why don't you take T with you and make a report? Oh, T, right. Um, what had happened, see what, what, had, what had happened with T, we, uh... Passports, no rush. How to hang in, Jay? You have got to stop neuralizing MIB personnel. The dude was crying in the middle of the diner. I hate that. And, it was, and plus, you can't count L. I mean, she wanted to go back to the morgue. I just, I helped her. You need a partner. I'm cool. I'll be his partner. Jay, wait up. I appreciate the shot, man. Thought I'd never get out of that mailroom. Lose the suit. Sure thing, partner. No problem, Emil. Just going for the look. But if I say so myself, I do find the overall effect very slimming. And not that I've had any problems with the ladies or what have you. It's just that when you get down a brass tack, it. Whoa, nice sled. Very swank. Heated seats? Sometimes I get hives. And I learned to get along, and so you're back from outer space. I just walked in to find you here with that sad look upon your face. I should have changed that stupid lock. I should have made you leave your key. If I'd known for just one second, you'd be back to bother me. Go on now, go. Walk out the door. Frank, bring your head in this window before I roll it up in there. Got it. <laughs> Frank! My money, it's missionary. Anyway, I was in the Bowery the other night, and I meet this great dame. A little thick in the body, but very pretty in the face. Frank, that's just not appealing to me, man. Seriously. OK, OK. So I say we do the good cop, bad cop thing. You interrogate the witness, and I growl. Oh, no, wait. How about we do the good cop, dumb dog thing, and you just shut up? You got it, partner. Total silence. Absolute quiet. Not a word out of me. What do we got? What do we got? There's a phosphorus residue on the wall and floor. We've sent samples back to M for analysis. Hey, Jay, zero percent body fat. <laughs> Funny. Witness? Girl, saw everything. She's taking it pretty well. No, you listen to me. I don't answer any more of your questions until you answer mine. I want to know what happened here. I think I better handle this one. You got it. Alone. Whole talking dog thing might be a bit much for her right now. What do you want me to do? Sniff around. <laughs> what? Money. Try taking a deep breath, ma'am. Everything's going to be all right. Just what part of this is she supposed to feel all right about? I'm Agent J. Why don't you tell me exactly what you saw? I saw a two-headed guy and a woman in leather. Caucasian? Gray, with tentacles that were coming out of her hands, and she used them to the rip... The skin off of his body. Actually, it's not skin. It's a protoplasma polymer similar to the chemical makeup of the gum you find in baseball cards. What was the last thing you ate prior to the incident? Calzone. What time? Lunch. Spinach? Mushroom. Mm -hmm. You need pie. A light. They just kept asking Ben about a light. A light of Zartha or something like that. You OK? An hour ago, a man I've known my whole life vanished right in front of my eyes because of a woman with things coming out of her fingers and a two-headed guy with the IQ of a cannoli. So yeah, everything's okay. Look, when we're kids, before we're taught how to think or what to believe, our hearts tell us that there is something else out there. Now, I know what I saw. 
You tell me what I'm supposed to believe. I'm a member of a secret organization that polices and monitors alien activity on planet Earth. Ben was an alien. So were the people that killed him. Now, I don't know why they did it, but I promise you that I'm going to find out. Okay. 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 Oh. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm going to have to... Uh, Kill me. No. No. <laughs> no, just a little flash and everything goes back the way it was. After you flash me if i see you again will i know it's you i'll see you but you won't see me must be hard must be very lonely Excuse me. I gotta go. What about the flashy thing? Uh, I'll flash you some other time. She's a witness to a crime. That's it. Yada, yada. You're attracted. She's not even my species, and I'm attracted. I'm supposed to take advice on love from a dude that chases his own ass? Easy, pal. That's canine profiling, and I resent it. 